Gary Philly and welcome. Uh, yes, I am now back in the States and able to do a little bit of recording again. A uh, bit of format change. I think I'm going to switch over to how I've been doing the, uh, the Virgil work for bringing you back up to speed rather than at the end of the video reading through all the te text ad nauseum again and again and again. Uh, I'm just going to put it at the beginning, flip through it really quickly. You can pause and read it if you need the refresher. Well, let's go ahead and get started with this one. there you have it. Today we're just going to be doing verse 22. It's a pretty short one. Yeah, works best with my schedule, honestly. Uh, here is the rubric, everything we're looking for as we go through the text. Let's get started. Humes pros cuneite ho uc oidate. Hemes pros conumen ho oidamen. Hoti he soteria ecton iudaion astin. There we go. Humes, we have seen before, has epsilon, iota, sigma of the nominative and plural personal pro pronoun form. So this is going to be emphatic because, you know, the verbs contain the subject. You don't need the pronouns. So we're going to put an exclamation mark at the end. Proskuneite, I've got that contract, epsilon, iota from epsilon to epsilon. And this is, of course, at the te, the second person plural present. So you've got no augmenting vowel right there and no stem change active and it is indicative so you all worship yeah i guess we don't need the exclamation yeah exclamation mark is for the imperative who is just adding additional pronoun in english ho and this one is going to be from hos hey ho this is the relative pronoun ho being neuter this one can be nominative, singular, or accusative, singular. We've already got the subject in our verb here, so this is going to be accusative, singular, and neuter. What you all worship, what uk oidate, you got that tau, epsilon, again, 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 gosh. Second person, plural, and if you recall, this is oida, so it's perfect in form, though present meaning. So I don't remember how I normally parse this. Should probably parse it according to the endings rather than the translation. So that would be perfect tense, active, and indicative. And so for our whole clause is you selves worship what you do not. No, you have not seen and therefore do not know. Uh, just a normal comma is fine there. Humes, same form, sorry, heimes, same form as humes. No need to parse that. So we proskunumen, we've got the omicron, upsilon there, contraction of epsilon and omicron. Men, of course, is our first person, plural. Again, off the present tense, no augmenting vowel, active, and it is indicative. We ourselves worship ho, again, it's going to be the same form, no need to do that. And then men, another first person plural, on the perfect stem, active, and indicative. We ourselves worship what we do know. Now, I find it curious that we've got the neuter here, and I think the Latin also has a neuter. When this is speaking about the father, the father is not normally a neuter. Yeah, well, neuter in grammar, period. So I don't know why John has changed these, or John or Jesus has changed these into a, uh, into neuter. This this might be in reference to the temple, but that would be strange. Maybe... Um, because normally accusative, when it's meant to show space, it's 
extent of space. So you worship in the extent of that place, which, which you do not know. But that, that doesn't fit with the, the context of what's going on here. So maybe it's just the neuter is here is to give the idea of what's been said beforehand rather than to speak specifically about God the Father. So this would include where worship occurs, to whom worship occurs, and why worship occurs, all in one idea. Because sometimes, if you recall, the neuter is used to speak about concepts or entire clauses rather than individual persons, places, or things. So that could be why. I don't know for sure, though. All right, moving on. Hoti. Hoti can be used to introduce a direct statement, an indirect statement, or it has its other meaning, which is just because. Taking a look at this, you've got an indicative verb with estin, movable new there, and that is a third singular present, active and indicative. So indirect statement doesn't make sense. We don't have a verb of saying before that. So direct statement also doesn't make sense. And the best option is that this means because. But before we write that down, let's take a look at the rest of it. Hey, so teria, we have our nominative singular feminine subject there. Ek, prepositional phrase, plus the genitive, which we find with that omega and that omega right there. Closing that off, and those are going to be plural and masculine. So, we know, well, sorry, we ourselves worship what we know. That salvation is from the Jews, ek being origin right there. Or, we ourselves worship what we know because the salvation is from the Jews. Honestly, either one works there. This could be introducing a direct statement. It's, it's not clearly marked as a direct statement. It could take oidam in as that verb of saying or perceiving. Or this is the cognitive one, of course. Or it could be used as in the con, not the cause positive sense. I don't know. I'm going to put it as, um, yeah, I, I think I think this needs to follow directly from what I'm on, so I'm going to put it that. The particular is over here, from or out of. And of course, that's in reference to himself, as Jesus comes from the line of Judah, from I think from which we get the word Jew, but the, the Jewish nation, the Israelites in general. So it's not that the, the nation itself is the salvation, but it is the one person, the, the seed promised to Eve, coming all the way through that line, and he is now here. Well, there's verse 22 for you. I hope take a look at this has been helpful, and I hope that you have a very good day. And that you are safe in all the madness that's going on right now. God bless. Farewell.